so so you've built so so then coming back to reluctantly coming coming off of our soapbox uh, and then coming back to to learn card so so you've created this as as open source software which is wonderful and, and you know we work on on an open source um, platform as well and in, in, in open Aquila. so so it's something that we feel very passionate about as well um, so how, how how could an organization how could they get started do you do you help organizations uh, and obviously you talked about your great partnerships with the scouts and, and with Lego, but how would someone get started? How do, how do they know if learn card is, is right for them? Yeah. Reach out and let's chat about it. That's, that's the easy answer. Yeah. As you know, I, that's part of the role. I probably part of the role I play. I, I love to just discuss any of this and, and where it works uh, or makes sense. Uh, but I mean, from a, I guess from a practical level, you know, learncard.com, we've got sort of an on-take form, uh, onboard form. Uh, we we work in, uh, across sort of uh, three, I guess, models or layers. Uh, our, our sort of initial uh, push is the open source. And, and, you know, if you have folks that have some technical background and can go and make use of, of uh, this SDK or, or some of the, you know, components being built by the broader ecosystem, certainly open Aquella, we've got, you know, there's any number of, I think organizations that are all plugging into uh, this work and, and making tools available. So uh, that's always like, don't need us go, please make use of these things. They are meant to, uh, you know, meant to be sort of tinkered with. Uh, let us know. That's usually like, we, we would love to tell the story of any of this stuff that, uh, you know, becomes impactful. So that's the, uh, that's the one ask on the use of open source. Let us know so we can help kind of tell your story. Uh, but, but yeah, we often, uh, uh, we often, you know, offer support and come alongside. So, uh, you know, folks that have an interesting idea or a project and just need some kind of lower, you know, lower level technical support or, you know, some consulting around how to get moving. Uh, we've got a lot of resources and, you know, other other partners. So most of the work kind of fits in that bucket and that helps us, uh, you know, stay in motion as, uh, as a nonprofit. Uh, so, mm -hmm. yeah, and then we also... Uh, you know, the, the sort of third option, we also are happy if it's the right fit to just, you know, sort of scope what's needed and, and, you know, take it on as a project that we're really leading and kind of doing, you know, front to back, but we're open. Easy answer is reach out. Uh, we're happy to chat about any of this sort of work and want to help, want to help support those that are aligned philosophically and, and see a similar vision. That's, that's brilliant. And, and having met Chris and a number of others at LEF, yeah, I've been incredibly impressed with the, uh, with the, the passion, but the, but the, the technical prowess and, and, uh, and other aspects that, that are really important to, to, to bring it together as a whole and, and, and make it work. So um, no, that's, that's great. And, and so what types of, are you seeing certain types of organizations? Yeah. yeah. Beyond, you know, beyond the is it universities? Is it governments? Is it nonprofits? Is it companies? Is it, you know, for profits? What, where do you, any and all, or where is there is there a sweet spot for for Learn Card? Yeah, I mean the, I guess the, the double edged sword of this. I mean, it, it, there there's very uh, there's very few, I guess lanes that we don't feel uh there's 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 reason to <laughs> sort of play in so yeah i mean you know I, I would say uh all of the above we've done amazing work at a community college in tennessee at Montville state currently doing work in colorado in montana um under the skills forward initiative right. uh so very much traditional there but then you know Lego, we've got some interesting things going on with gaming, um, certainly the scouts, those would be considered, I guess, more, you know, non, non-traditional, non-formal, uh, all, all of the above. Uh, we also still, you know, love to do sort of research and R and D work and have, uh, an ongoing research project around, uh, learn cloud, which is this sort of broader umbrella, uh, and partnership that we've, we've recently been working towards. So, yeah, I mean, uh, Again, I, I love systems thinking and complexity, and I think most of the folks doing this work kind of have to have to love complexity to some to some degree. Uh, so, because learning and uh, you know le learning is universal, the 
diversity of what that represents across contexts, culturally, geographically, that that is absolutely unique. So I, I don't I think we have to uh, have to be universal in some sense if we're really going to try to you know move towards this you know admittedly ambitious vision of uh, a learning economy in a in a, a very real sense uh yeah you know we we like to look at all angles and right now you know there's uh there's good momentum in certain pockets usually driven by uh, leadership and people and folks that have been kind of moving this direction uh but but we're also open to open to new new angles you know mm. there's there's always something interesting obviously ai and and what it represents now is kind of put a new interesting layer over the top of a lot of this work um just with llms and and sort of data being contextualized in a in an interesting new way uh so we're actively exploring all of that as well right now